Hello, everybody. I am Nathan Blake, and welcome to Taste the Treats, a name that I just came up with in this exact moment with no forethought. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you decided to go on this culinary adventure with me. I'm sure you're wondering, what exactly are we doing here, looking at you in the face as you speak in a deep, baritone voice? Well, we're going to be trying a couple of tasty, delicious treats that uh, I discovered whilst at the store. The first one is one that I've never seen anything like before, and it is hot and spicy boiled peanuts by the Peanut Patch. Now, you may be very, very familiar with boiled peanuts, I don't know, but I am not. My favorite part is that it says that they are real southern style. I'm... I'm from the south. I've never heard of these before. The good news is that they are non-GMO, protein-rich, and gluten-free. Of which I am thankful. So, now, uh... This is kind of just a humorous uh, celebration of hitting the uh, 500 subscriber mark. So, uh, we're just gonna try these out really quick. Oh, oh, gross, gross, gross. Ah, yes. Nothing. Ah, <laughs> oh, there was nothing more appetizing than that. It's just a, it's just a big old puddle of peanuts in their shells floating in liquid. <laughs> You know, I should have probably had the forethought to uh, bring a plate over here or something. So uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. Hello, everybody. I have returned. And this time, I have utensils and napkins. Because those are the best things to use for tasting treats. So, <laughs> so you see what we got here? <laughs> it's a tasty, tasty looking peanut right there. I, I guarantee you. I'm gonna just dry those off with this paper towel real quick. <laughs> and then we're gonna, we're gonna pop that puppy right open just like any other peanut would be popped open, I assume. And inside. You have some delectable-looking peanuts. Mm, so good. I don't think my camera likes to focus on inanimate objects very much. I could do it with the manual focus, but gosh, would that be a pain. So now they're cold and they're wet. I didn't know a peanut could be soggy, but I was wrong. Peanuts can definitely be soggy. The flavor's not actually that bad. Is the consistency really? Oh, you shouldn't mush like that. You know, you shouldn't mush. I'm not. I'm not really okay with them. Whoa, that one was spicy. Wow. I'm. Uh, I'm. I have a pretty, pretty strong tolerance of spicy. Speaking of a strong tolerance of spicy, stay tuned for the end of the episode of this uh, video because I'm gonna have a little announcement about reaching our uh, goals by the end of. February. Mm. Mm. It's like caviar. No, it's not. Ugh. 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 All right. Ugh. Okay. So the other thing we have on our list is uh, none other than Great Value Brand Tropicals. <laughs> and if you're wondering what a tropical is, I can explain. A tropical is a fruit punch flavored pickle. The first ingredient is cucumbers. The second ingredient is high fructose corn syrup. What could possibly go wrong? I also really enjoy the fact that the this has red dye number 40 in it. Which, to those who know me personally, red dye number 40 is, I actually have an allergy to it. Uh, the only known effect of it on me currently, oh, it smells awful, ugh, ugh. The only known effect of red dye number 40 on me right now is that it makes me... Ah!
<laughs> Didn't know you were gonna get a jump scare in this video, did you? <laughs> the only known effect of Red Dye number 40 on me up to this point is that, for sure, is that it makes me insanely hyper. So, I'm doing this at 8.30 in the morning, I'm not gonna, I'm probably gonna crash sometime around like, five in the evening and be exhausted and then I'll take like a 30 minute nap and then I'll never sleep again. So, all right, so this here is a pickle. This is a red pickle. It's great value brand so you know it's high quality. And uh, I got this napkin here so I don't stain everything with this redness because my chair behind me is red but nothing else in here is red. It's not supposed to be red. So. Uh, not looking forward to that. I'm an adventurous eater too, but it's things like this that just... Why? Why? Why have you done this? I frankly don't understand the point. It tastes like those sweet pickles. Like the regular, like, little tiny sweet pickles. It, it has the slightest tropical twang to it, but aside from that, I don't mind them. They're not bad. They're really not bad at all. I'm okay. It is extremely strange that every time you go for a bite, you smell Hawaiian punch. Kind of making me thirsty. Okay, so that was Great Value Brand Trop Pickles and, uh, what was it, Peanut Party? No, Peanut Patch Boiled Peanuts. Um, the Trop Pickles I'd actually give, uh, on a scale of one to pickle, I'd give it a pickle. I mean, it's just a pickle. Like, really, it's a pickle in red dye. It was sweet. A sweet pickle in red dye. And there are types of pickles that are already sweet, so... So I, I'm not really that up put by it. Um, they're surprisingly sticky. Like, I got a little bit of the juice on my finger and now I need to wash my hand. But other than that, it's just a red pickle that's kind of sweet. So, the boiled peanuts are disgusting. I wouldn't... No, nah, no. Nah. It's unfortunate that they only come in the world's largest can, which I understand why they come in the world's largest can. Is because they know you're gonna open that can, you're gonna eat two, and then you're never gonna buy it again. So you got, <laughs> they gotta sell as much of it to you as they can in one go. <laughs> Thank you so much for 500 subscribers. That was just a little goofy thing that I wanted to do whenever I saw those in the store, and I thought it would be fun. I also wanted to let you know that uh, we're gonna make a big push, like a really big push. Um, we're going to try to get as many subscribers as we can between now and the end of February. Why February, you ask? Well because it's the end of the next reasonable amount of time. <laughs> if I was pushing for the end of January, it wouldn't make sense, it wouldn't be fair. So, what we're doing is we're pushing for the end of February, and here's what I'm going to do. I've already ordered this on Amazon, so it's on its way. It'll be here either today or tomorrow. I am, I have gotten one of the big, actually two of the big bottles of habanero Tabasco sauce. <laughs> Excuse me, it's the peanuts. Oh, the peanuts. I have gotten two big bottles of habanero Tabasco sauce. They are five ounces a piece. And what we are going to do is if we hit 600 subscribers by the end of February, I will drink half of a bottle, two and a half ounces, which is more than one of the small bottles of Tabasco sauce. And if we hit 700 subscribers by the end of February, I will drink an entire bottle all five ounces and should we make it to 1,000 subscribers by the end of February I will drink both bottles 10 ounces more than a full measuring cup full of habanero Tabasco sauce and you will get to see me dying on camera and maybe vomit which the boiled peanuts were the closest thing you've seen to that so far so <laughs> So that's, that's where we're headed, that's where we're going. So share this video with as many people as you can. And even if just each person that watched this video shared it with two people, and then those two people shared it with two people each, this video would spread and we could get it done. People would come to watch me torturing myself with habanero Tabasco sauce. So 
Um, I There are other spicier and different types of hot sauce that I could have used. I understand that. I'm not saying the habanero Tabasco sauce is the best or, or the spiciest, but it's a brand that you can find anywhere pretty much. And so it's something that someone can actually say, okay, yeah, I've tried this before. It's pretty spicy. Or they can go out and get a bottle of them for themselves. Try it too. They can try the, it's just a habanero Tabasco challenge. Everybody doing this. It's the next time challenge. It's, 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 it's less likely to put you in the hospital than the Tide Pod Challenge, at least. So that's one of the main reasons I chose that. So uh, if you want to see something else go along with it, me doing something else while I drink it, playing a type of game or something while I'm doing it, let me know in the comments below. And aside from that, thank you so much for watching uh, Nathan Blake's Tasty Treats, or whatever the heck I called this at the first of my, my garbage video was. I don't remember. You don't remember? I don't know. And uh, thanks for being a part of this adventure with me, as always. Uh, I'm just so thankful that you're here with me and, and again for helping me reach 500 subscribers and I'm so excited for us to reach for the stars and go for six, seven, and even a thousand. So go with me on this adventure. Show this video to as many people as you can and get me to drink habanero Tabasco sauce even though I really don't want to that much. Is this legally binding? Do I have to? But no, really, hold me accountable. I'd, I'd love for, for, I want this to happen. I, and I'm, I'm personally, I'm going to, to continue to try to reach out to as many people as I can between now and then. So I'm, I'm still putting in the effort to grow my channel, even though it's going to punish me for doing it. So thank you so much for being here. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. This is Nathan Blake signing off for Nathan Blake Games. Sayonara! Hey everybody, it's Nathan. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And if you did, please share it with two friends so that we can spread this channel around and I can drink some habanero Tabasco sauce. Woo! Anyway, thanks for being here. Thanks for going on this adventure with me. And for now, this is Nathan Blake signing off for Nathan Blake Games.